thought I would share the story of my first night dive. Uh, to put this in some context, I was in my third year of law school out in California. Lived in Sacramento and knew a buddy of mine, Mike, and his wife, Kim, from my church in Sacramento. Well, Mike was an experienced scuba diver. He was, I think, master certified cave diver, the whole bit. But he needed a diving buddy. So he had gotten a new set of scuba gear, tank, the whole bit, and needed someone to dive with. Well, the coast of California, just in general, the water's very cold year-round. But he knew of this Monterey Bay, maybe a lot of you have been there, beautiful area along the Highway 101 and the Pacific Coast there, south of San Francisco and the Bay Area. Well, known for great whites, but that's a whole other story. Um, Mike and I had done some dives before. Those had adventures, and I'll tell you about them, but... Mike was known for playing pranks. So I told him, I said, look, okay, you want to go on these night dives, you, because we put little, little uh, breakable lights, you broke them and they would shine, you put them in your uh, BC, your backpack, so that we could at least see where each other was. I'd never been on a night dive before. Well, I told Mike, I said, you cannot play jokes, you can't hide that light, etc., etc." Okay, so we, we get out there, he, we kind of prep each other, and we're, we're diving. Well, at that time, I wore, and still do, wear hard contacts. Well, there's a way that you, if you get water in your mask, you lift it up, blow bubbles out, and it clears the mask of water. I knew how to do this, so I was down, not horribly deep, maybe 35 feet, and my mask filled with water. Well, I couldn't open my eyes because it would get the water in the contacts. So I, I tried this technique a few times, eventually got to the top, and I'm clear out my mask, and I'm thinking, you know, I told that guy not to play any pranks. He doesn't even know where I am. I could barely see his light down at the bottom of the ocean. So sure enough, I get all the way down there. Mike, Mike's tank has fallen off of his buoyancy conveyor, his uh, backpack, basically, and it's laying on the ocean floor as he's struggling to get it back in. So we got that in, did uh, some more dives and so forth, and it ended up being okay, but that was my first night dive. Mike's tank fell out onto the ocean floor. He's still living though. I've got more scuba diving and snow skiing adventures with Mike to come, so keep an eye out.